let's tune the telescope in to galaxies being born. And oh my gosh, who ordered this? We're finding galaxies in the Dark Ages. Could the James Webb Space Telescope have debunked the Big Bang Theory? What do the new images of galaxies reveal about the universe's origins? If the Big Bang Theory is wrong, what could have caused the universe to come into existence? The detection of 750 galaxies that could challenge our understanding of the universe's origins. For a very long time, scientists have had this idea called the Big Bang Theory to explain how our universe came to be. It's like the ultimate story of how everything started. But now, with fancy new tools and cool gadgets like the James Webb Space Telescope, some smart folks are saying, hey, wait a minute, maybe that story isn't quite right. The Big Bang Theory is like our universe's origin story. Imagine a tiny, super duper crowded point where everything in the universe was packed super tightly. That's what this theory says happened a long, long time ago. It's like the universe's birthday where it all began. But here's where things get interesting. Nowadays, we have these super cool gadgets like the James Webb Space Telescope. It's like a super telescope that can see really far away. And guess what? Something unexpected happened. It's like when you're searching for your favorite toy, but you find a bunch of other toys you didn't even know existed. These new discoveries are making scientists scratch their heads and wonder if our universe's story might need a rewrite. It's like when you thought you knew how a movie was going to end, but then there's a surprise twist. The Big Bang Theory has been our go-to explanation for how the universe started, but now, with these amazing discoveries, it's like a mystery that needs solving all over again. Science keeps evolving. And sometimes the answers we thought we had might not be the full story. So let's stay tuned and see where these new discoveries take us in our quest to understand the universe. Imagine we have this super duper telescope in space called the James Webb Space Telescope or JWST for short. It's like having a magical eye that can see really far into space. Well, this amazing telescope recently made a big discovery. It found not just a few, but a whopping 750 new galaxies out there in deep space. Now you might think, wow, that's awesome. But here's the twist. These galaxies don't look like what scientists thought they would. It's like opening a surprise gift and finding something totally unexpected inside. So this JWST telescope, which was designed to help us learn about how galaxies started, surprised everyone by finding a bunch of new ones. It's like a treasure hunt in the sky and they hit the jackpot with 750 shiny new galaxies. But here's the puzzling part. These galaxies are kind of strange. They're not following the rules scientists had in mind. It's like if you were playing a game and suddenly the rules changed. These galaxies are throwing a cosmic curveball because they're different from what scientists expected. This super space telescope found a bunch of new galaxies, which is super cool, but these galaxies aren't acting the way scientists thought they should. It's like discovering a whole new species of animals that don't fit into the categories we already know. And this discovery is making scientists rethink what they knew about the universe, and it's like solving a big cosmic mystery. Imagine everything in the universe squished into a teeny tiny, super duper crowded point. That's what the Big Bang Theory says happened at the very beginning. This super crowded point had everything, all the stuff, stars, planets, and even energy. It's like having all the ingredients for a giant cosmic cake in one tiny kitchen. Now here's where things get exciting. The universe didn't stay tiny forever. Nope it decided to do something called cosmic inflation. That's just a fancy way of saying it started growing really, really fast. It's like blowing up a balloon really quickly and suddenly it's huge. Gravity, you know, the force that makes things fall down on Earth, also played a part. It's like the glue that holds everything together. As the universe expanded, gravity started shaping things, making galaxies, stars, and all those big cosmic structures. Think of it like building a gigantic cosmic puzzle. 
So, in a nutshell, the Big Bang Theory is like the story of the universe's incredible journey. It began from this tiny, crowded point, expanded like crazy, and gravity helped create all these amazing things we see in the sky. It's like the most epic space adventure, and scientists have been trained to piece it all together for a long time. You expected to see big, bumpy galaxies, but instead, you found small, smooth, and ancient ones, kind of like expecting a big cake and getting tiny cupcakes. These new galaxies are a big surprise and don't fit with what the Big Bang Theory predicted. It's like trying to solve a puzzle, but the pieces don't match the picture on the box. The theory said galaxies should look a certain way, but they don't. Instead of being rough and messy, they're strangely smooth. It's like expecting a rocky mountain and finding a smooth hill. This is puzzling scientists because it doesn't match what they thought they would see. And according to the theory, when things are far away, they should look smaller, like cars on a long road. But these new discoveries are challenging that idea. It's like seeing cars on the road that somehow look the same size no matter how far they are. It's a bit like seeing a magic trick when you were expecting something else. The age of these galaxies is causing a big ruckus. They seem to be way older than they should be according to the theory. It's like finding out your pet's actually a lot older than you thought. This doesn't fit with the timeline that the theory proposed. And here's the kicker. The Big Bang Theory has made quite a few predictions, but some of them turned out to be flat wrong. It's like making a bunch of guesses and only getting one right. Multiple incorrect predictions can make scientists question whether the theory needs some serious rethinking. The Big Bang Theory is getting a bit of a makeover because these new galaxies are throwing a curveball. The James Webb Space Telescope has discovered 750 new galaxies that don't fit with the predictions of the Big Bang Theory. For example, they are smaller, smoother, and older than the theory predicts, and this is causing some scientists to question whether the Big Bang Theory needs to be revised. The new images of galaxies reveal that the universe may have been more complex and chaotic in its early days than the Big Bang Theory predicts. This suggests that the early universe may have been a very different place than we thought it was. Now, let's talk about something important. Why some folks who question the Big Bang Theory might not get the attention or money they need. You know, when you say, hey, maybe the Big Bang Theory isn't all that, some scientists might not like it. It's like when you suggest a new game and your friends want to stick with the old one they love. So, there's resistance from other scientists in the club who really believe in the Big Bang Theory. And here's the tricky part. If you're a scientist saying, hey, maybe we should rethink this, it can be hard to get the money you need to do your research. It's like wanting to buy a cool toy, but nobody wants to give you the money for it. So even if you have good ideas, you might not be able to explore them because money is tight. There are a number of theories that could explain the universe's origins if the Big Bang Theory is wrong. One theory is that the universe is eternal and has always existed. Another theory is that the universe is part of a multiverse where there are many different universes, each with its own unique history. Still another theory is that the universe was caused by a quantum fluctuation, a random event that occurred in the fabric of space-time. When you question the Big Bang Theory, some scientists don't like it, and it can be tough to get the money you need to do your science experiments. Science is all about exploring new ideas, so it's important that everyone gets a chance to speak up and be heard, no matter what they believe. Eternal Inflation Imagine our universe is just one of many bubbles floating in a giant cosmic bubble bath. Each bubble is like a separate universe with its own rules and stuff. This idea is called eternal inflation. It's like having a lot of different ice cream flavors, but they're all in their own special containers. The Steady State Theory Now think about the universe as always being there, like a never-ending story. In this theory, the universe has been around forever, and it's still here. It's a bit like having a toy that never runs out of batteries. This idea is called the steady state theory where the universe just keeps on going without a clear beginning. It's like a never ending book with no first page. The cyclic universe. Picture the universe going through a big cycle, like a never ending roller coaster ride. It starts with a big bang, everything expands, and then it all crunches back together. Then boom, another big bang, and it all starts all over again. This idea is called the cyclic universe model, where the universe is like a cosmic yo-yo going up and down endlessly. It's like riding a roller coaster it never stops. These are just different ways that scientists are thinking about how the universe might work. Each idea has its own twists and turns, just like the different flavors of ice cream or stories in a book. Science is all about exploring these ideas and trying to figure out which one is the right scoop of ice cream or the best chapter in the story of our universe. 
So whether it's bubbles, a never-ending tale, or a cosmic roller coaster, scientists are always on the lookout for the ultimate explanation of how it all began. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel before leaving. And meanwhile, thanks for watching.